Hello everyone, it's your boy Minato here, and today we're going to be actually taking a look at the Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle Survey for the global version of Dokkan. I don't know why I just read out the whole name, but that's basically what we're going to be doing. Make sure you go ahead, and especially for a global player, fill out this survey. Apparently, I believe you get 7 stones from the survey, and from what a friend told me, uh, you guys get the stones instantly when you complete the survey which is very nice so you know as soon as you complete the survey you just instantly get the stones when you put your id in there so that's very good make sure you go ahead and do that friend seven free stones and just filling out what you feel about dokkan honestly it's not a bad thing at all oh we got a level 10 link boggers okay anyways continuing on here let's go ahead and build the survey maybe give some of my thoughts on basically the six year anniversary in total both on jp and dogon was very 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 similar there was a few things on global that had uh differences such as the friend point summon however global didn't have the actual um you know the the that one list where we saw like the most used units and stuff like that but let's go on let's go and continue uh mail right here please tell us your age 20 or younger actually i'm a youngin i guess please tell us your occupation uh i'll just do this whatever let's see how often do you play dragon ball z dokkan battle um oh finally this one link i've been i'm sorry guys this one link for Majin vegeta has been stuck at eight for like the past few days oh my god a bunch of link levels here that's actually a really good run okay um i've been playing before the transcend sixth anniversary I haven't been playing recently, but I started playing after. I haven't been playing, but started playing uh, again after it began. Okay, so this is a countdown campaign. Okay. So I started playing after the count the countdown campaign began. Okay, so for me, I'd be doing this one, obviously. Was there enough content for the Clash X Unite Transcendent Dokkan 6th Anniversary Celebration? I would say it had a pretty good amount of, I would say it's just right, the amount of content that they released. Uh, it was a little, just a teensy went a bit stretched out, but they had a LR EZA, a Dokkan Fest EZA, the Extreme Z area for those four free to play units, the story events. It also had the actual, like, in fact, let me pull up the actual celebration info itself. Let's go ahead and take a look here. So if we go to. Uh, uh, I guess we can go to all campaign and global since this would be the global version specifically uh, Let's bring it up right here. So this is the sixth anniversary in global in total So if we take a look here, um, yeah again, they had the new dog on events I guess they had all this stuff which is not like necessarily Content, but it is kind of count up fandom um, If we keep scrolling down here look at content the again new story event These two new story events you get the actual ex skill orbs the god of destruction event as well Boss Rush, uh, technically Super Battle Road, was open daily, although there was no new actual uh, stages. Uh, 8 to 4 hours restoration boost is really good. Technically, Link leveling is not like great content, but Link leveling is still something you could do. And having this 4 hour restoration time, which JP doesn't have, um, could definitely like to get Link leveling much easier on the global version and incentivizes you to play the game a little longer. Uh, again, the special virtual clash, which does give a decent amount of stones. I believe around 40 stones or so compared to the usual like 30 ish, uh, which is pretty good. Part two uh, just had extra stages. Again, the extreme Z battle, everything like that. The part three had the Goku and Freeze EZA basically. So yeah, um, explaining that. Uh, obviously, uh, I went on a rant. R went on a rant. I went on an explanation there for like three minutes. I feel like so. It was just right. <laughs> I think obviously there could always be more content, but this is like the best celebration dokkan has had so far so i feel like it's generous to say just right obviously you could always do more but i want to say it was not enough that's for sure which events did i like more than one answer is possible i like this a lot i like the co-op events um again the story events are cool the extreme z area is nice the this run right here is cool again the extreme z powders are good this is good like the second this look all of these are good <laughs> like all of these were good like I don't know what to say, which I did not like, none in particular, because I liked everything personally. I think the 6th anniversary was really, really great. I would say, like, there's one or two things maybe you can nitpick about it, like, um, like, oh, this is only once a day, boo-boo, there's no category drop here, uh, or, like, I guess that's, 
And that's a fair judgment because a lot of the category like skill orbs do have category drops if you want to really pick that out. But honestly, none of these were really bad, <laughs> to be honest. I like them all. How satisfied were, was I with the sixth anniversary campaign um, incoming celebration? Okay, so the campaigns itself. I thought they did, were done pretty well, so I would say I was going to be satisfied. Possible, let us know why you feel satisfied to satisfied. I feel like they handled it pretty well, honestly, especially with all, especially with the recent social media pushing they've been doing. Um, although it's not necessarily part of the campaign, it is technically a part of the campaign in a sense. Um, and I feel like there was a lot of content, a lot of things they really included into it, and a lot of more involvement they had with the community, which is really great. Did I participate in the social media campaigns? Yes, I did. Dude, the profile picture thing was pretty cool. The little, uh, you know, teams like, oh, what units are you running? You show us your favorite team. That stuff was really cool. Which campaigns did I participate in? This one, I this one I actually forgot about it. Whose revival do I want to see? I believe I did this one. Um, obviously, I retweeted these all again interactions stuff like that is really cool. This my team Dogon campaign was probably my favorite one. Either that, or the profile photo one was pretty cool next what's my main source of information i guess for me the twitter um the japanese version of dokkan battle okay the, this is them basically saying yeah we know you know about the jp version honestly i was <laughs> gonna say the jp version uh, i guess i get news from this official twitter sometimes like for some global stuff or same time celebrations it's already translated you know if they don't mess up like the gt units itself i guess sometimes i get information from youtube um but to be honest i kind of get all the information for myself for like luka dokan or something so i mean i guess i'll put all this down but i really like i once the news is in game or something i'm on it like i'm waiting for the news in game and stuff all the time or like when data download nights drop like on data download nights what i do is i set apart of stuff that i want to do or stuff that i haven't done yet and just do it on those data download nights and then when the data download drops instantly i could be like okay data download drop let's go boys you know stuff like that how satisfied am i i am uh, somewhat satisfied i think there's obviously a lot that the game could do to improve for the future um regarding being completely satisfied i wouldn't say i'm completely satisfied again like there's some things that they could fix such as world tournaments the friend system um a lot of things like that i feel like they've been really well with releasing a bunch of units uh doing a bunch of these easy a's i feel like that they could do better though with giving us the actual um like they release all these extreme z areas which is cool you know uh it's just that they don't give rewards like the actual extreme z battles and it's like a lot of the times they gave like two other kais and three sleepy kais for the missions and the celebration you know they do get a lot of kais like in terms of login bonus and you know they have the monthly kai banner so and you know like things like battlefield chain battle stuff like that they do give a decent amount of kais overall not counting missions but i feel like if they're gonna drop 10 easy a so you know it's you know that you're gonna have to use like well like 50 plus kais or something like that um they should like actually give us more in terms of kais and orbs and stuff like that just a little more especially if, if you're like someone like newer uh you're gonna be struggle mode <laughs> to be completely honest but yeah that's what i say possible please let us know why in details i mean i basically did right here in the video i'm not really gonna like submit it i don't have a global account so maybe i'll come back after this video i'll fill out some stuff on my own just so i could submit it and maybe i'll make up some random id i don't know what new features that i like to see what i like to see from dogon battle in the future is interesting i would like to see again the revamp for the friend system um along with that i would think it'd be pretty cool if there were some sort of like it's not necessarily mm, a skip summon <laughs> animation yeah a skip summon animation it actually just came to my mind that's something that would be nice to get like a nice skip summon animation that would be pretty cool um it would be cool if you could make like i don't know like and we have like six team slots which is okay but they have like 15 billion categories so what if they allowed you to make a like a team per category and you get to like set a preset team per category that you're using uh maybe even for super class and extreme class as well i think that would be neat 
Um, other than that, I feel like there's not really too much I feel like I could ask for at the top of my head. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe, you know, when I come back and fill this in later, I'll check in some comments and see what you guys feel as well. Please let us know Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle merchandise you would like to see. I mean, as a meme, I would totally rock the Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle shirt. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> I don't know. Um... I think the figures are cool, but outside of the figures, I guess they could do more figures. It would be cool, like based off the card arts. But I don't think I would buy Dokkan merchandise. <laughs> to be honest, at most figures would be cool. But other than that, I'm not really that interested in Dokkan merch. Um, I mean, I would say maybe release the OSTs officially, but like obviously not. Uh, I don't. I don't think they would make you pay for them. Hopefully not. But some official way to release the OSTs would be cool. Um, that's just a little side thing. But other than that, how strongly would I recommend a Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle to someone who likes Dragon Ball? I would say a good seven, because Dokkan. The thing with Dokkan is that it's super easy to get into. It's not really difficult to understand the gameplay. Obviously, like I said, it's really easy to get into as well. Um, and. The only thing that's keeping me from going higher than a 7 is it's a gacha game. I wouldn't necessarily reach out to someone and be like, Oh, you should play this gacha game if they haven't played a gacha game before. Um, out of their own will. And it's like... Yeah, that's basically it. Just gacha games <laughs> in general. I wouldn't really recommend to someone who hasn't played a gacha before. And if they have played a gacha, I mean, sure. I think Dokkan is it's a pretty nice gacha game overall. Um... Oh, you know another thing a feature i'll add pity like an actual pity system would be cool maybe a way to buy uh a character off the first banner with like a certain amount of coins would be nice but yeah besides that that's pretty pretty much it just yeah but yeah uh, good seven i'll strongly recommend dokkan to someone who doesn't know Dragon Ball or doesn't like it uh i mean i feel like the main point of it is do is like the dope dragon ball characters like if you don't like dragon ball characters why i don't know why would i recommend you dragon dokkan battle especially uh even if you didn't like dokkan i probably would recommend someone something more easily to get like accustomed to like a uh, i don't know there's an, an actual dragon ball console game or something maybe but yeah i mean i probably would be like one <laughs> am i playing any other dragon ball games other than dokkan I I'm on and off with Legends. I haven't played Zenover soon in a while. Kak uh Fighters I might get into a little. Kakara. I actually have not played Kakara yet personally. Dragon Ball Heroes. Uh I haven't never played Dragon Ball Heroes. Other other Dragon Ball Fusions. <laughs> okay, um I guess I'll click on Legends. Uh so we continue on Fighters. Do I play Fighters on and off? I guess. If you have any other thoughts opinions or messages to the operation team please write them here so yeah i would definitely say right here is where you should fill out the biggest things about you know you know maybe you like the sixth anniversary maybe you like like it doesn't have to be necessarily negative things that you're filling out to them you could say you also could say what you like so that they know that we like some of the things they're doing and they could also move forward with it because if you just say oh i don't like this or this or this or this like, that's nice too you know that's definitely good to tell them what they're faults are but it's also good for them to know what pros they're they have what good things they're doing so that they can continue to do those good things is what i would say um okay other than that does that allow you to put the id in there um i don't know it's weird but yeah i mean that's pretty much it um let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh let me know what you guys put in your survey specifically and let me know if you guys enjoyed the seven stones i guess other than that there's not much else to say i'll see you all in the next one peace out